The four AP officers, namely Frederick Leliman, Corporal Stephen Chebulet, Constable Sylvia Wanjiku, and Leonard Mwangi, will remain in custody after their bail application was rejected. Justice Jesse Lesid said there is a likelihood that potential witnesses may disappear if they are out on bond. There exist strong compelling reasons why their applicants should not be released on bail. Stringent bond terms cannot guarantee safeguards the integrity of the trial process, neither can it guarantee the progress of this case to finality. At the same time, she ruled that the case facing the four was serious and has attracted public interest. And for those reasons, I've rejected the application by the four applicants, uh, who are the four first to the four that these persons in this case. I've ordered that they shall remain in custody during the pendency of this trial. The hearing of the case continues on the 9th of January, and the High Court in Mombasa has issued a warrant of arrest against an American citizen, Jacob Schmalze, who is alleged to be a fugitive of the law, accused of murdering Kenyan businessman. Jimmy Baburan in a suspected love triangle in Watamu in July 2015. Lady Justice Asenath Ongeri issued the warrant against Malze, who the prosecution says has fled back to the USA. He is suspected to have colluded with Amina Shiraz, Baburam's wife, and drowned him in the swimming pool at Medina Palms Resort Hotel. Meanwhile, former anti-graft Caesar John Gidongo has claimed that former cabinet minister Dr. Chris Murungaru was a primary challenge in the fight against corruption during the Kibaki regime, while defending himself in a defamation case filed against him by Murungaru for linking him to the multi-billion Anglo leasing scam. Gidongo said it was difficult to fight the vice since the latter was at the heart of the conspiracy to defraud the Kenyan government together with foreign entities. The hearing will continue in February next year. And a Nairobi County accountant has been charged with corruptly soliciting for over 7 million shillings. Dennis Paul Monotti is accused of committing the offences on the 28th of November this year at City Hall and Ankara Hotel within Nairobi City. He denied the charges before anti-corruption magistrate Pius Mugambi and was released on a 250,000 shillings cash bail. The case will be mentioned on 23rd of December this year. Lilian Otieno for Scales of Justice.